Hi, it's Sadie. You are watching Get Ready With Me and you are about to get ready with me. So I started off camera with the Cure Brightening Gel Cleanser. If I'm not using that, then I'm usually using Dr. Dennis Gel Cleanser. Um, and then I moisturized with Lipid Gold Barrier Lotion from Stratia. I've been using this website, Air Shop. They have free delivery um, or same day delivery within LA. I don't know if they deliver anywhere else, but I discovered this moisturizer on their site and it's amazing. And I also toned with the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid, which makes my skin look tight. So amazing, amazing. Um, I don't really wear heavy foundation because I just honestly haven't found one that I really like on my skin. So I use the Bare Minerals Natural Matte Tinted Moisturizer and we're gonna go in with quite a bit because I do use it as a foundation, but I just find like my skin just likes it better. It agrees with my skin. I wish I had one of those influencer headbands. Could be cool. I get some redness, but through adjusting my skincare, I have been able to deal with it pretty well, I think. You know, just taking my vitamins, drinking my water, doing the most at all times. Just like never taking a minute to relax. My nose gets the most redness, so I want to make sure that's nice and covered. Again, it takes like a little bit since this isn't a proper foundation. It's a moisturizer, so I do have to layer it a little bit, but it works for me. Okay. I don't really cover my full forehead. I just do kind of like above my brows. There's not really like a rhyme or a reason to this. It just looks good on my face. I don't like doing too much in the middle, I guess. Um, I just find it gets cakey. So I'll do like, it's gonna drive people crazy. I can already tell you that. Never considered myself like a makeup girly. So honestly, if you have feedback, like don't leave it in the comments because I probably will just continue to be reckless. <laughs> okay, let's just like, Assess. It's like different doing my makeup in the camera. Get my cheeks a little better. When I get redness, I get like very flushed cheeks. So just make sure that's handled. Okay, and that's really all I'm gonna do to my skin. Foundation-wise, that should be fine. And then I go in with some bronzer. I love a pale makeup look, but I usually find for like nights out or photos, I just look really washed out. So if I'm doing like a light glam, which is what I'm doing tonight, I'm just gonna do bronzer. Cause you know, I don't look good in the pictures. Yeah, I said it. drag it down my neck but not go too crazy just drag 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 it like your ex-boyfriend a friend of mine told me i'm like too rough on my skin when i do my makeup and i'm like honestly i know okay this next step is my new favorite i am now a blush girl i've been wearing this mac mineralized blush in dainty my sister showed it to me shout out and honestly i just feel like it makes my makeup look so good okay i was a little nervous to show my brush on camera because it's traumatized like me honestly 
I don't know what to say for myself. It just, it is what it is. And I know it's a contour brush. I know. But I wash my brushes like crazy. There's a good skincare tip. So honestly, they just fall apart and I replace them often. So I just don't get too invested in like what brush I'm using for what because it's gonna end up in the trash after I wash it 200 times. Okay, as you can see, I don't like really have a technique. I just go in on my whole cheek, not just like the little part, like the whole thing. Just drag it up. Just love it. This blush has like a sheen to it. It's so glam. And what is that? Yes, we are going up and over the nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just gonna say that that's, that's that for now. Okay, and then I do like a contour like, like right under my cheeks. Um, I'm using a Morphe contour palette. Um, donut is what I use, is what I am using tonight. Literally just cut. Scared. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. I'll just blend it. I feel like my whole makeup routine is like me doing things and then fixing it. So tell me if you can relate. Okay, 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 is it getting better? Honestly, I can't tell. I'm just gonna, this is a beauty blender, like a literal eraser. How do we go back in time? Okay, sometimes when I'm like not sure, I just leave it and like, if I'm like, in like five minutes, we'll go back, we'll revisit. Okay, so with like whatever's left on the brush, cause I don't wanna look too defined, but I'm just gonna do my jaw. Okay, this is where my steps get a little, depending on the day, I figure out what to do next. Um, okay, I'm gonna put on the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. I read on the box it has long lasting permanent results, which honestly kind of scared me and I wanted to return it. <laughs> but I just didn't make it back to Sephora. So here we are. I'm just gonna put a little in the middle of my lips. I don't always love to actually wear it as the gloss that I wear out, but I put it on while I do my makeup so that it kind of like Plumps my lips, and then when I go to do whatever lip look I'm doing, they're just kind of like, you know. Okay, let's assess so far. Okay, I don't hate it. Honestly, that, I'm happy with that. Okay, so I was wearing a heavier makeup look today for some content that I was shooting. So I have really sensitive skin and typically if I wear heavy makeup, my face is kind of irritated after. So I really wanted to do a black winged look for this party that I'm going to tonight, but I'm a little worried about my eyes, honestly, just like nonstop watering because of like being irritated. So I think I'll just do like a slight ever so slight wing. I didn't clean my liner brush from earlier, so it's a little devastated. We're gonna see how far we get with that. I just put a little bit of the House Labs black pigment on like a palette. And I use that to line. Cause let me tell you, it does not come off. It stays put. Which is honestly part of the reason that with my sensitive skin, I can't like wear it and then wash it off and wear it again. Or I can, but it irritates my eyes a little bit. 
it is lasting. Okay, honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna do this on camera. We're in it together. It's like a slight wing. Oh, see my eye is already watering. It doesn't like that. The life of a girly with sensitive skin. Okay, we're just gonna do our best, honestly, with the lash. You know, <laughs> it's a journey. It's a journey every time. Oh no. I literally just told you it's so unforgiving. It's so unforgiving. I'm just gonna irritate my eye. Okay, that kind of looks like the day after makeup, which is honestly kind of high fashion and glam. Okay, now the ultimate challenge always, make the other side match. Okay, I saw Ariana Grande do this thing. Where she like pulled the wing with her nail. Honestly, it works. Wow, she really knows everything. Okay, this side is gonna be a struggle because my eyes not having it, not having it. Round two of the glam, my eyes not down. It's a journey, it's a journey. I need like a coach to give me a pep talk like through doing my makeup. It really is like that sometimes. Cause I'm about to flip this desk. because like I said, my skin is just not gonna have it right now. Honestly, that's perfect. So moving on, I'm going to put on my strip lashes. I am usually either in a bare face or a strip lash. I really don't use mascara. I've started using mascara on like my bottom lashes, but I don't know, I just, if I'm not wearing a strip lash, I'm just not interested. So I'm pretty good at putting them on. And now that I said that, let's put it to the test. Honestly, I have put a strip lash on like walking through the grocery store, in the car, literally, I'm very well practiced at it. Okay, the key with strip lashes is you want to put like the thinnest layer of glue on. Honestly, I just use the duo glue, the white one. I don't use like the one that changes color or whatever. I don't know. I just have never found that to be necessary. Um, but you put like a thin amount on the strip and wait until it gets a little tacky. You want it to dry a little bit because if you try to put it on wet, it's like gonna be arts and crafts, like glue all over your face. Like you're not leaving. It's gonna not leave in the house. Okay, and then while I wait for it to dry, just kind of like curl it into a little circle. So it's more like shaped to my eye and it goes on more easily. There's also just like this like unspoken rule that if the lash looks good in the camera, it probably looks really bad in real life. And if it looks really good in real life, it's gonna look, your lashes are gonna look so bad on camera. Like every time I've slayed a lash application, I look at photos and I'm like, one of my eyes looks fully closed. I don't make the rules, I don't know why it's like that, but that is how it is. Okay, dry enough. Just put my money where my mouth is. I usually do this actually an inch away from my mirror, so like, it's a little difficult, but I'm gonna do my best. Oh my gosh, it's glued to my thumb. It's a journey. 
like I've been watching like too much Bachelor, Bachelorette, Golden Bachelor. I just keep saying journey, I can't stop. So thankful to be on this journey, me and my strip lash. Honestly, it's like the most horrendous task. Oh my God. The thing with lashes is they're actually like pretty forgivable. See, we're kind of leaning this way. Just kind of try to adjust it. And if it's looking really just off, always reapply it kind of curving down it's kind of make my eyes look I really don't slay the glam I just wear my sunglasses out and everyone's like who's that <laughs> or they're like who is that honestly the first one okay okay my right eye is really watering so I'm like a little worried about the lash sticking but means it's gonna look weird on camera oh no listen if any makeup artists are watching this and you live in the LA area like come over <laughs> no I'm kidding I'm doing my best we're gonna leave it because face tune and because I just don't want to irritate my eyes anymore okay so I find that speaking of face tune whenever I do face tune my pics I usually am smoothing out right here and my chin because I get too shiny and it's a struggle because I love when my skin looks dewy in person but then in photos I usually smooth that out so I've just actually been putting powder like right in the middle of my forehead. use this brow gel I think it's called Macup. honestly found it on Amazon I don't like filling my brows in I feel like they look too dark or something um also I've never bleached my brows I don't want to like get rid of them like they've been with me my whole life like stay but um I also don't want to like fill them in really dark it just like doesn't seem to suit me so I just use a gel and this gel seems to have a really strong hold, but it doesn't get like crusty and it holds all night. And you know I forget and touch my brows and it always holds. I'm definitely curious, like what would I look like if I just like shaved my eyebrows off? But you know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna shave my eyebrows off. Not today, not in this video. Okay, honestly, this is just like meditative. I could do this for so long, but I think I'm done. Okay, now for my lips, I'm just gonna slightly line my top lip because it just gets a little lost in camera flash. Like the slightest bit okay it's my favorite thing i've been doing lately i buy the clear sephora glossed gloss and then i add a little bit of the black house ops pigment to it and it makes this black lip gloss but it doesn't go on like super solid it just has like a tint to it and honestly i don't even know what made me do that but i'm obsessed with it it's like the only lip i wear lately I love an ultra, ultra glossy lip. It doesn't mix super evenly, so it's like a little tricky to put on, but oh my god, I actually just love it. Love. Does this mean I collaborated with Lady Gaga? I think it does. I think it does. Okay. I mean, really that's it. This is the finished final look. Just a light glam for going out tonight. 
and yeah I don't really want to do anything else to my face I feel like I'm happy with it I was gonna do a white liner underneath but I think I'm gonna leave it I kind of love this as the final look don't forget to subscribe to Jamo and listen to my new song pretty traumatized it's out everywhere join the cult thank you thank you for watching